the hit American thriller drama series created by Ashley Lyle and Bart Nicholson, Yellow Jackets is returning with a second season. The first season entertained everyone with its conventional yet original horror and drama and we hope that the second season will be able to deliver the same. As the second season is about to start streaming, we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview and recap of the show so far, so that you can have a hassle-free viewing experience. A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the series, so if you haven't been able to catch up with the series yet, maybe you should pause the video and get back to watching it. But if you are done watching it already, kindly follow us through the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot. Okay, now let's move on. The series starts with the Yellow Jackets, a high school football team preparing to travel to Seattle in 1996 for a national competition. The group travels aboard a private plane that crashes on a mountain region, trapping the survivors for 19 months in the woods. Several of the members developed cannibalistic tendencies during that period. In 2021, a journalist named Jessica Roberts approached Shauna, a team member, to talk about their unexpected adventure, while Misty was working as a geriatric nurse and Taisa had started a campaign for state senator. Natalie, another team member, chose to reconnect with some old friends after completing rehab. After the plane crash, Misty uses her extensive knowledge of first aid to treat the injured. By amputating and cauterizing assistant coach Ben Scott's broken leg, she manages to save his life. Travis comes across his father's body, the coach of the team impelled on a branch of a tree. Misty, meanwhile, demonstrates crucial survival abilities, proving why she is an important member of the squad. And after finding the emergency locator transmitter of the jet by sheer coincidence, she disappears it in a moment of great self-interest while savoring the attention and praise from the others. In 2021, Shauna rear-ends the car and meets with the owner Adam, an intriguing stranger. In an effort to find out who sent her a postcard with a sinister symbol from their past, Natalie holds Misty at gunpoint because she has some psychological tendencies. But after discovering that every survivor has the same card, Misty and Natalie set out on a road trip to locate Travis. Meanwhile, the frightening drawings that Tysa's son Sammy has been drawing about a lady on the tree start to worry her. After three days, Taisa persuades the party to trek to a local lake and upon reaching there, the group finds an abundant cabin and discovers a dead body in the attic, which they later bury as tensions about paranormal activities rise up between them. In 2021, Taisa's political rival Phil Butters released a campaign advertisement suggesting that Taisa is a cannibal as it is quite unknown how they successfully survived a plane crash and the wilderness for 19 months. After Sammy intentionally harms a child at a playground, Taisa becomes more worried about him. Meanwhile, Shauna follows her husband to a hotel where she meets Adam and sees Jeff dining with a stranger. Later footage shows Shauna and Adam entering a hotel room together. In the meantime, Misty and Natalie discover Travis's dead body at a ranch and come to the conclusion that he was murdered. When the group discovers a gun with plenty of ammo inside the cabin, Natalie and Travis turn out to be the most adept users of the weapon. When they pursue and hunt a deer and unearth Travis's father's dead body, they become closer. It is also revealed in a flashback that Natalie's controlling and abusive father was killed in a firearms accident that she believes was her fault. The rest of the group discovers an abandoned airplane that seems quite good in this situation. In 2021, Natalie met with the police officer Kevin and leveraged his attraction to her to persuade him to look into Travis's murder. When they attempt to delve deep into Tysa's past, a significant potential donor rejects her campaign's offer as Tysa tells mom about the incident that happened more than 20 years ago. Shauna and Adam, on the other hand, begin an intimate affair with a crazy knight enacting Shauna's teen fantasies, while Adam is shown to probe for personal information on her. Misty has an encounter with Jessica while shadowing Nat and Kevin. She calls Shauna to tell her that Travis is dead, but she doesn't seem to be interested in that matter. Back in the jungle, we see that Lottie has run out of her medication for schizophrenia and in the attic during a seance, she seems to be possessed by the evil spirit of the cabin, which warns everyone that something bad is about to happen to the gang. In the meantime, Natalie and Travis as well as Tysa and Van start dating. We also see that Misty poisons the assistant coach Ben to express her disturbing affection towards him, but somehow he survives. Ben deceives Misty into thinking he has affection for her in order to get her to leave him alone. Tysa, on the other hand, finds out that Shauna is faking her periods, digs out the fact that she is pregnant, and also gets to know that she has a relationship with Jess, her best friend Jackie's boyfriend. 
In the present timeline, Taisa discovers the word spell written on her front door, suggesting that the public is waiting to learn about the secrets of their survival. And after finding a paint can with the same color in Sammy's room, she confronts him. Sammy accuses the lady in the tree and denies committing it. Taisa later considers quitting the election for the Senate as her political opponents' attacks intensify and Kelly Shauna's daughter finds out about her mother's affair at a Halloween party. When Natalia and Missy obtain access to Kevin's files, they discover that the murder of Travis took place during a ritual. Natalie tells Taisa about their findings and when they try to tell Shauna, they find out that Missy has already told her as the creepy woman is keeping an eye on them through a covert camera. In a flashback scene, we see that Lottie diverts her parents just in time for another vehicle accident that results in the eventual death of the passengers. And from here on, Lottie is shown to have visions that are expected to happen at some point in the future. Lottie starts to see a deer in her dreams. She confides in Laura Lee, a devout woman, and consents to be baptized. Laura comes to the conclusion that Lottie has visions of the future and eventually Natalia and Travis shoot a bug covered with maggots and bloody horns identical to the one in Lottie's deal. Then Sean Adams a self-induced abortion with Tysa's help but ultimately decides against it. In 2021, Simone Tysa's wife schedules a consultation with a child psychologist who diagnoses Sammy with stress-induced hallucinations. And later that night, it was revealed that Tysa herself is the lady in the tree. Meanwhile, Natalie and Kevin redevelop affection for one another and Misty abducts Jessica in order to stop her from snooping around in their lives. To embark on an exploration to locate a way out of the wilderness, Tysa, Van, Misty, Akila and Mari come to an agreement. Lottie warns Van that they will come across a torrent of blood and red smoke as they head out. As they proceed, they come to a river that is red in color. Later, a group of wolves attack them, and with the aid of a flare pistol, Tysa defends the group. But Van suffers serious injuries. In the meantime, Shauna informs Jackie that she is expecting a child while making up the identity of the father for obvious reasons. But Jackie comes across Shauna's journal and finds out that Jeff has been cheating on her with Shauna. In the present timeline, Natalie, Shauna, and Taisa consent to paying a blackmailer $50,000. The group pursues the blackmailer and during the chase, the blackmailer stumbles into a box of glitter before escaping. Misty confronts Jessica because she thinks she is the blackmailer and Jessica reveals that Taisa has hired her to find out more about the other members of the group. Meanwhile, Shauna made love with Adam at home and in the morning, Jeff comes close to catching them. Natalia and Travis have a fallout following an unsatisfying sexual encounter and in the meantime Van regains consciousness. After failing to find a way out of the jungle, Laura decides to take the one out plane but as it descends, it blows up in the sky. In 2021, Misty was checking on Natalie with a hidden camera and as the latter was about to relapse, she came to her rescue. Natalie learns from Misty a piece of vital information. When Travis passed away, someone took the whole balance out of his bank account. The following day, Natalie attempts to elicit information about this incident from Susie, a friend who works for a bank and blackmails her when she refuses to cooperate. Simone, on the other hand, learns from Thais about her sleepwalking condition, which causes her to completely change into the monster from her child's imagination. She begs Simone to leave her alone in the house for a bit out of concern that she will hurt Sammy. Meanwhile, Shauna finds glitter in her closet and learns that the blackmailer stole all of her journals. Then visits Adam's residence to ask him questions after discovering that he is not who he claims to be. The group plans a homecoming celebration and except for Jackie, everyone unintentionally eats hallucinogenic mushrooms. Travis claims he still has feelings for Natalie, yet Jackie continues to engage in sexual activity. Misty follows Ben and Natalie as they leave the gathering to speak privately. Upon finding her, Ben reveals to Misty that he is gay after Natalie departs to find Travis. At the cabin, the group finds Jackie and Travis and all of them try to rape him. They get a hold of him as he tries to run away and Lottie directs Shauna to slit his throat. When Natalie comes, she tries to stop them and in the present time, Shauna kills Adam after discovering that he is looking into her past. Upon returning home, she presses her husband as he has access to the safe where she stores her writings as well. And Jeb admits that he blackmailed the gang due to the fact that his furniture store was going out of business. It was also revealed that Jeb was not actually having an affair. The woman at the hotel was a loan shark he was meeting to pay his debts. Shauna confesses to killing Adam to Jeff and the two talk about their alternatives. Then Shauna convinces Natalia and Tysa that Adam is a real blackmailer and Natalia asks Misty to get rid of the dead body. 
Most of the group members start to think that Lottie has some special powers. While Travis and Natalie search for a missing hobby, Lottie shoots a bear that calmly approaches her in front of them. After looking at the disturbing turn of events at the camp, Jackie makes a harsh decision to camp out in her rage, and they discover that she has frozen to death the following day. And then, as a sinister ode to nature, Lottie, Missy, and Van present the bear's heart to an imaginary deity. In the present time, Shauna, Tyson, Natalie, and Misty tidy up the crime scene, and all of them go to their high school reunion. Randy, a friend of Jay's who is aware of the blackmail, is confronted by Shauna, who threatens to murder him if he informs anyone else. Then in a secret chamber in the basement of the house, Simone discovers Sammy's doll along with the severed skull of the dog, and what appears to be a human heart. Meanwhile, Jessica is poisoned by Misty, Tysa is elected to the Senate, and Natalie is abducted by an unidentified group. And finally, in a voicemail, Susie informs Natalie that Lot is the one who has drained Travis's bank account. The series is a great thriller slash horror attempt by Showtime. Each and every episode is engaging and on point. The performances of both young and adult actors are amazing, and the flashback has an inherent Evil Dead vibe attached to it. The next season will probably deal with the slasher aspects of the show. Whatever it is, the series has already captivated my attention. So let's see how the entire story will come to an end. The second season will start streaming on March 24, 2023. Hey, 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 thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your expectations regarding season 2 of Yellow Jackets on Showtime. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of series. See you at the next one. And for the time being, we are signing off. Farewell, Johnny, and I'll be back.